Water is essential for life on Earth. More than 70% of our planet's surface is covered with water, and although we are surrounded by it, we worry that there may not be enough of the vital fresh water needed to support life. Only 2.5% of the total supply is fresh water. That's the water we use to drink, wash, and grow our crops. So the immortal words of Coleridge ring true. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. Water moves around Earth's system in a cycle. The steps are evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and runoff. It circulates through these steps among the ocean, atmosphere, and land. To better manage our fresh water in the future, we need to understand the water cycle. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is taking an important step in helping us learn more about this cycle through the development of the soil, moisture, active, passive, or SMAP mission. One of the things that SMAP is going to measure directly is to get some insight into uh, soil moisture characteristics over the world and allow us to uh, forecast into the future uh, drought conditions, future water availability, and this is one of the biggest implications for uh, humans. Measuring soil moisture is an important part of understanding the water cycle because, so far, scientists can only estimate the soil moisture around the world based on computer models. The accuracy is between 50 to 75 percent, depending on where you look. This map is an example of a computer model. It's a simulation of the soil, moisture, and freeze-thaw conditions in the northern latitudes over a one-year period. This animation shows what SMAP data will look like once the spacecraft is in operation. Red colors denote drier areas, while green colors represent wetter areas. As the seasons change, the soil moisture over a region will also change. Areas that are frozen show up in white, because SMAP cannot see the liquid water underneath the ice in the soil. SMAP will deliver similar maps based on real data. The measurements will revolutionize our understanding of soil moisture and the water cycle so we can help take care of this precious resource that is essential to us all. Say so human health. Uh, the, whether the top of the soil is wet or not really impacts whether certain types of insects uh, grow and develop and that can lead to malaria and other diseases, and that's something that people can relate to. So I think if they actually stop thinking about soil moisture as some esoteric concept at the top of, you know, dirt in their backyard or something, if they actually start thinking about the applications that really can affect them, you know, I think they'd be surprised at how valuable this mission will be. One of the first of these new missions that will begin to uh, give us uh, much deeper insight into uh, uh, the behavior of our uh, planet's climate. Not just for us adults uh, who may not be around to really endure the brunt of what might happen with climate change, but in particular for our children. Uh, we're, we're leaving them potentially a, a, a significant legacy and we need to know what that is.